Hey guys, Edog here, and today I'm going to show you how to turn this kind of containered circuit into this kind of containered circuit. Hope you enjoy! So, this is the prototype that I just referred to. So, if I take off this lid, you can see all the circuitry which is inside it. So, taking this bit out, so you can see there is a battery box, a potential divider circuit, the small recording module, a read switch, and a speaker. Because this is a prototype box, it was only built in a small plastic container, which over time has cracked. So, in this video, we're going to put it into a more substantial, more permanent box. And preferably one that isn't held together with electrical tape. So, let's get disassembling the prototype. So here is the prototype, so first I am going to pull the lid off in this assembly, remove this. So that is now just a small plastic container with the word prototype or another bit of paper and taped to it. So that can go just there. So this is all separate. So first I'm going to remove the reed switch which is held on by pipe cleaners. So that side is now off. Look at which way this side is twisted. And now slide it up. So now that bit's been removed, we can get on with removing the speaker, which is also held on by pipe cleaner. Turn it round. Okay, there is the speaker. So let me just place that down there. This bit can just go with the other part of the box. So let's have a trip to a hardware store and go and get some parts. I am back and from the hardware store I bought some insulation tape to replace the tape that's currently on it, a glue gun, some glue sticks for the glue gun, and a more robust container. Also, I have got my multimeter, which is just here, and some solder and a soldering iron. So, let's go on and start mounting the circuit into the more robust container and mending the circuit. So, I'm going to start by soldering this wire here onto the little bit of circuit board. So if I touch this bit here, and then Hold it. There you go. So that is connection one soldered. Now connection two needs to be done going back the other way. If I pull this wire through here, then I'm going to strip the end of it. So as you can see now that bit of wire has been stripped.
I was placing it on the piece of um, placing it on the reed switch holding the solder as well this might be tricky okay I'll come back in a second right let's place this Has that stuck? That is the question. No. <laughs> you think you need to heat the thing below? Try not to smash the plastic. That should do. Well, I need it now. That is okay, the first part that needs hot gluing is the back of this battery tray because it doesn't stay in. So I'm just going to aim the hot glue gun at it and just fill the back base up like that. Let's go lay this down. Okay, so that is the first bit of hot gluing done. Okay, the next part is gluing the reed switch into the main container. So I'm just going to do that now. There's the glue. Try and get it centered. And press it in. Hold it in place while the glue solidifies. I'll turn the camera off and let it do that. Now I'm going to mount the speaker, which I'm going to try to centre as much as possible. Like that. Let's just glue it in. be a hard task. Now I'm going to do the other side. warm up, up a bit inside So, now I'm just going to glue the speaker to the reed switch so everything's solid. So, 
So, it looks like quite a messy job at the moment, but I will tidy it up. And I'm going to mount the rest of the components on the lid. Which will be fun. So, let me get the next bit set up. So, it is a bit dark, but the build is done. So you can see the battery box, the speakers, and, and two circuit boards, and the reed switches below the batteries. So, I will take this back upstairs and I will show you it in a good light. So, I kind of ended the soldering and hot gluing session abruptly because the plan I'd got didn't work. But the reed switch label is done. And the project name, which is the BIM project, it's to help people know what to recycle and what not to, is finished. So, if I unscrew the screws, There's one, maybe this one didn't come out. Let me use this magnet. So, I've now removed the screws and we can take the first look at the completed inside. So, this bit here is the other side of the speaker, then you have the battery box, and underneath the battery box is the reed switch, which you can just about see there. Then you've got the potential divider circuit, which is hot glued in, and then the recording chip, or recording circuit, which I have left loose so you can lift it out and record a new message. So, let me record a message. Now I have to get really close to the microphone so I'll do this off camera. This is a test. And if I press play... Ah, I haven't put any batteries in it. Be back in a second. Okay, I've put some batteries in it and turned it all on, so let me just record a message. Check Th this is a test. This is a test. So, now you have that message, you can tuck the board back in there, and I'm just going to put this cover back on which is easier said than done and if I put a magnet just there this may not be a strong enough magnet this is a test if I just work out where the magnet is or where the reed switch is you can see it works.